What's up guys? Welcome to Knife Banner. Dallas, what are we talking about? Today we're talking about some new arrivals or new things on our website. Some are restocked, some are new. So check it out. Let's talk knives. What's up guys? Today we are talking new arrivals. We got some fun knives on the table. Dallas, how are you? I am doing a fabulous, Kurt. That's, fabulous. It's good to know. It's yeah. good to know. Now we've got some exciting knives on the table. Like you were saying, we got some stuff that's new to the website. We got some uh, variants that are new to the website, maybe some color changes. Mm -hmm. Also restocks. So. A lot of options, and we are going to show you a handful. At the time of filming, these were all in stock, so check the website. Always check the website. If your knife that you want isn't there, hit the wish list. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys jump on there. You'll get a notification for when they do come back in stock. If so. you get hit with an email and whatnot, so yeah. yeah. Should you just go? Yeah, let's just jump in. I've got the first knife. This little guy, what a cute little thing. This is the Cansep Knives Mini Corvid. Now this one comes in right at $60. It's a one and a half inch blade here with the cleaver. It's got a cool flat grind, nice little fuller. A lot of attention to detail on this one. Um, G10, natural jade G10 scales here. Uh, it actually runs on bearings, little tiny bearings up in there. You got a <laughs> flipper tab. You also have the option to um, front flip this. It's a little small, but it's doable. There you go. There we go. I can't do it. Uh, designed by Justin Koch, and it's just a really fun, cool piece. Now, I know they make this knife bigger. Um, this is the mini version, and it just is so much fun. A little Dude, chop, chop. the full size of this thing is like It's gigantic. big. It's huge. It's a big it's Yeah, a big it's like knife. a four-inch blade. I mean, it's like... Yeah what two inches tall two and a half inches tall it's huge compared to this one yeah so really cool knife sixty dollars on the website many different colors many different colors yep all right kurt i have the finch 1929 this one here is the night crawler so we take a look at that baby there 115 dollars on the website blade length of two and a half inches 154 cm with this little clip point blade, good little belly going on that thing. Flat grind, satin finish, the handle is three and a half inches long. Um, this has that, uh, the bone. Um, uh, that jig bone. Jig bone, thank you, Kurt, jig bone. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let me turn it around there. And you're looking at stainless steel liner and bolsters. Uh, this thing runs on bearings. Uh, you know, I really like the Finch. They, they do such a good job. They do. These go come in and go out just as fast as we get them. They're, they um, go quick for sure. Yeah, there's like a like you know like a like a super following for these, but you know, this brings in this kind of reminds me of like a classic gentleman's hunting knife. If that sounds like it could be a thing. oh yeah no so yeah I I see the guy who's going um, like sport sport shooting. Yeah. With his over under shotgun and Ooh, his yes. Filson vest with the <laughs> the, the uh, leather shoulder or whatever, you know that that's that type of knife. But I do love the shield they put in there. Yep. A lot of attention to detail. These things are buttery smooth. Really cool knife. I love the Finch. I I love the Finch. The nineteen twenty nine is. Uh, I like it's nice little size. I just like it. I just like it. I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys think? Do you like the Finch? Let me know. I like the Finch. All right, guys. Up next, I have got the Forum or Ferrum. Excuse me, the Ferrum Forge Stinger. Now, this is a cool one. It comes. This is a variant of the Stinger. We've had the Stinger before, but this is a cool variation here. Now, this one comes in right at two hundred and ten dollars. Uh, it's got a three and a quarter inch blade length here. Nice drop point with a flat grind. Uh, nice little. Nail nick fuller. Um, I like. I like to just call it a nail nick. I mean, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, I can't get in there. <laughs> Fail. 
Use the flipper tab, guys. Uh, really cool frame lock. It's got this really teeny tiny deep carry pocket clip, which I absolutely love. Yep. The knife is really small, slim, lightweight. It's got this cool copper and carbon fiber pattern here on the inlay. Ferrum Forge just makes great knives. The quality is yep. up there, runs on bearings. The blade centering is always spot on. It's a good knife. I like that you can choke up too. It's yeah, got that, that choil. I was just gonna, mm. I was just gonna say something about that choil. And this is a, this is one of the more uh, higher priced variants of the Ferrum Forge. Right. There's some, I mean, it's Nitro V. There's some different ones. Check the link. It'll take you to it. Yep. Yeah, the Stinger is a great knife. That's actually one that I don't have in my collection that I, I should purchase. And those will be hitting the website in a, in a couple days. So just keep an eye on that. Um, Keep an eye on our social or our website, and it'll show you when they hit. Um, I have here two Hanks by Hank. Let me make sure I get them right side up. So Hanks by Hank. This one here is the Smoky. Oh uh, crap! Smoky smoke. Up and smoke. Up and smoke. I always, whenever I read, it, I think of Cheech and Chong. Uh, up and smoke. <laughs> up and smoke. Um, there's. He's always got his little tab right there with the little mustache on it, and when you get it the the your bag your little baggie that comes in you get a little sticker um with the little mustache sticker i love it yeah these are 10 inches by 10 inches they run 20 dollars on the website so there's just the topo version there's many different variants they're made out of cotton um yeah i mean this here's just your plain side these are the hanks by hank uh he sent us in some and here we are and something else i really want to point out made in the usa i like that yeah I really do. That's awesome. Yep. Cool, man. Uh, up next, I have got the Actinon Verba. This is the P200 oh, fixed blade. Now, I actually really, really, really like this knife, guys. Uh, let's talk about it. $144 on the website. You've got the, obviously, the bright orange blade, so you don't lose your knife if you're hunting or out in the wilderness or just put your knife down. Sometimes I put my knife down and it just disappears. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah, it, <laughs> those leaves in the ground and I don't right? know, Mother Nature decides to take it back. I don't know. Right? So guys, this one right here, overall length is just shy of nine inches. It's got a 3.9 inch blade. It's Bowler N690. It's got this nice rounded uh, crown on the spine and on the, uh, the tang down here in the handle. Really nice, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Drop point blade with a flat grind, G10 scales, uh, made in the Czech Republic. Uh, Victor from Acton on Verba, <laughs> we've had Victor on a couple Victor. times, and he has really sold me on this knife. This thing is absolutely a thing of beauty. Yep. The texturing on the G10 is the right amount to just give you that solid purchase. I also love what they've done with the blade here. They've cut some of the some of the blade mm -hmm. out here. You get a little weight, but then they brought back that thick tang towards the tip, so you get that extra strength. So, strength? Extra strength. <laughs> strength? Strength. <laughs> also comes with this really cool leather sheath. I actually really like these just basic leather sheaths. Sometimes I feel like sheaths, there's so much focus on how many different ways we can put a knife or strap a sheath to a human body. Yeah, or a bag. It, yeah, or yeah. a bag. It just kind of gets overwhelming. So I do like the simplified leather sheath. Really cool for Mac to non Verba. That one is everything you need, nothing you don't. Super comfortable. Love it. All right, Kurt. I have the Cansip Accipiter. Dude, did you just front flip that thing I like just a front boss? Flipped it. Leon Ma taught me how to flip this because I was struggling a little bit on his <laughs> booth at SHOT Show. Not that I couldn't do it, but, you know, it's funny because he's like, don't look at it. And he said someone else taught him that. And so every time I just don't look at it, I look at you, quack, I can get it every time. I like every it. time. <laughs> front flippers. I don't know why I struggle with that. Anyway, <clears throat> so, listen here. Uh, the Cansep Accipiter comes in 277 on the website. Uh, three and a half inch blade. This here is CPM S35 steel, drop point blade with the flat grind. Um, this is the handle length is just a hair, just a smidge over four and a half inches, and then it's titanium and Timascus. 
So if you look at the pocket clip, you can see the, the Timascus on there and then the titanium Timascus on the front here. Um, and the the uh, backspacer. The backspacer is cool. Oh, it's totally cool. And it's got your little spot for a lanyard if that's what you choose. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I have a Canset. And I love it. They're smooth. They're actions. They run on bearings. They're just great, great, great knives. Um, unless you hit your palm of your hand when you're font flipping. <laughs> They're really good. Were you looking them. at me? I was, but guess what? I got <laughs> fat hands. No, but uh, yeah, no, that one there is just a work of art. There's yeah. a few different variants on the website. Go check it out. The prices do vary just a smidge. I am a fan of Timascus. I love cool. Timascus. It's just beautiful. Very cool. Okay, guys, next knife for me up on the table is a beast. This is a Jake Hoback knife. This one is called the Husky for good reason. Holy crap, man. This thing is a thick boy. Uh, let's compare it to the Stinger. Yeah, there you go. The Stinger is a very slim knife. The Husky is not. <laughs> Guys, this is a big, <laughs> big old piece of material here. Let's talk about it. $575 on the website. You pay for the extra chunk of the material. Nitro V steel with, I mean, look at that. That is some thick with two or three C's on there. <laughs> that's three C's. That's three C's thick. Uh, Nitro V, like I said, with the Tonto blade, it's got this nice, beautiful fuller here. It's kind of a nice little touch. Um, it is a frame lock with the flipper tab. It actually jumps open super easy. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of really cool, big design. It's got his segment or his uh, logo here back here on the pocket clip. It's a big knife and this knife may not be for everybody, but if you are a fan of Jake Hoback and his designs made in the USA and you're buying a lot of awesome material, titanium handles, that big thick backspacer, this thing is beast. I picture that thing there as the knife that you use to cut a car in half <laughs> <laughs> right that thing is a tank man that thing's a chunker and you know and, and again like kurt said not this may not be everybody's jam but right. you know what that's the beauty of the knife world there's there's a lot of different variants a lot of different options for whoever and whatever some people like slippy some don't right um who doesn't like a slip joint um, as far <laughs> as like it being a big thick knife in my hand it Reminds me of the Medford Praetorian. Yeah, that's exactly where I was going with it. It's the cool. weight of it too feels pretty oh, yeah. good. It's almost Absolutely. what, 10 ounces or something like that? Yeah, it's yeah. just shy of 10 <laughs> ounces, guys. This thing is a big block of titanium and nitro V. Really cool entry. Check it out on the website. Check it out. Pretty cool. All right, Kurt, this one here makes me laugh <clears throat> that I got it. <laughs> so being retired from working in a prison, I got the Cancept Convict. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me laugh. It's a good it's, looking oh, knife, though. Oh, it is beautiful. Uh, it comes in at uh, about $208 on the website. 3.3 uh, 3 inch blade, little sheep's foot here. Uh, CPM S35. Um, flat grind, stone wash. The handle is four and a quarter inches. Um, titanium. It's got that green tinge to it. It's like a it's like a like a sea green almost, not a teal, but like a sea green. Like a sea foam. Sea foam. Yep. And this was designed by Sheepdog Knives, Chris Conaway. Um, he's got some amazing designs. Uh, you know, I, I say I like a lot of knives, and let me tell you why this one here, why I like this one here. The scales are rounded just a smidge. Ergonomics fit comfortable. Um, I do really really like it. The pocket clip. Uh, is just a, you feel it, you right. feel it, but it's not, it's not, you know, like, right. it's not overly obtrusive. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So when I say I like this knife and it's awesome, um, it's smooth action, it's comfortable ergonomics on, um, for, of the handle right. in your hand, so it fits comfortable. And that sheep's foot, S35, it's S30, S35 is one of my yeah. favorite. Dude, good so. pop, nice pop of color there with the light green anno, and then it's got that gold thumb stud. It's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, it's got that little pop of color. So the the anno on this here isn't like, uh, not to not to bag on well, the Damascus, I mean, 
But I mean, you look at the difference. This one here, this this one here is showy. This one here is kind of like, yeah, I'm cool. It's subtle. But uh, you know, I'm kind of But it's classy. Quiet. Yeah, it's it's like the introvert. I'd say classy <laughs> AF. On classy that one. AF with two Fs. <laughs> I don't know what. A, oh, AF. Yeah, I know what that means. I learned that the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, kids. <laughs> All right, guys. Up next, I have got a really cool Microtech Exoset. Now, this one is a collaboration with Scarlett Coswell. I hope I didn't mispronounce that. Uh, it's just a really cool pattern design with the gold and black color combinations. It also has this cool pattern here on the pocket clip. Um, some people use the Exoset as a money clip because mm -hmm. it's got such a wide clip. Uh, kind of a cool concept. These things will just slide into your pocket and because they're so flat, they just kind of disappear. But that the pocket clip is bigger. So if you are thinking about buying one of these or picking one of these up, just remember that that pocket clip is a little wider than your average pocket mm -hmm. knife pocket clip. California legal. California legal, yep. uh, $342 on the website. It's got a dagger blade, uh, premium steel. I have to double check. I'm pretty sure it's M390. Yeah. Um, aluminum scales, gold gray, made in the USA. This is a cool knife. And it's got that pattern where if you were like, whoa. It's like whoa. psychedelic. It's like I'm watching Alice in Wonderland. Right? <laughs> you know, it is a beautiful piece. You know, for me, if I, if I had that knife, again, I say I like a lot of knives. The Exocent isn't, isn't really, the Exocent's not really my jam, but I would use that as a money clip. Yeah. And I'd put a little lanyard with the little, kind of a cool little brass bead that kind of matches yeah. all that. So it kind of... Uh, uh, patina is down a little bit, and so the lanyard when you reach in, you can pop it out with your if you're using it as a money clip. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, I will say this: the action on the uh, the slide here is so crazy. This is such a slim, flat knife that once you reach that pinnacle, it's like click, and it's effortless. It's, it's micro really cool. I really mean, cool. Microtech quality. What do you What are you gonna expect? Right. Uh, but to be honest with you, and I just want to make sure I clarify this, I don't have any money to put in a pocket clip, <laughs> a money clip. Otherwise, I would probably because have you a just, money clip. Because you keep buying too many knives. Probably. And yeah, it's my never, wife, dude. It's never too many guys. Her it's eyes are permanently many. stuck in that. Uh, look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have the Microtech Trudon Mini. <laughs> it's cute. It is a little. It's guy. a teeny little guy, and you know what? Totally fun. So the overall length, 5.3 inches. Um, the blade is just a smidge, tiny smidge under two inches, uh, 1.9 inches. A premium steel, this one's M390. It's got that dagger blade, so it's sharp on both sides. Um, aluminum, I'll change it over. So the aluminum back um, with this deep carry pocket clip, and then the G10, that tan G10 on the front. Uh, this little this little bugger. Oh, and it's, obviously it's made in the USA. Yeah. And you know, it comes in at four hundred and two dollars. Um, this little bugger, I, I kind of like it. I, it's fun. I, 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 I just like it. It's fidgety, and it's again, it's a microtech. I mean, what do you expect from a microtech? You quality. expect quality. You expect when you buy a microtech, you're buying, you're buying the name. So when I say I like this, again. Um, it's a little little small. Well, My pinky hang it up, but it's not meant to be this big old huge you know, right. the, the combat. They have other <laughs> yeah, they have other trodons that are bigger. Oh, absolutely. But you know, this fits really nice. It's light. If you want something that's gonna uh, that's gonna be California legal and, and lighten your purse. And I'm if you're a lady, if you're a guy and you wanna throw one in the gym bag, if you're running or something and you wanna clip it to your like music belt. I see guys at the gym that, that have their, uh, I don't know. Yeah. We used to put iPods and then Walkmans. <laughs> now they have uh, their cell phones or maybe it's just ear pods or whatever oh, those things are. But anyway, they have the, the little armband. They clip them on or whatever. Um, yeah, it's a light little piece. It's super simple to And it is offer. like just under that two inch mark for just, the Cali League. I mean, it's just a smidge. It's 1.99 inches. I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, up next, I have got the Pena X-Series Trapper. Now, Enrique Pena is probably one of the coolest, most humble guys who makes, hands down, some of the best quality knives I've ever held. I actually have the Pena X-Series Raptor, 
and I absolutely love it in this same colorway. Um, $284 on the website. You've got a two and three quarter inch blade with CPM M4 steel. It is a clip point, as you guys can see here, with a flat grind. Um, it's micarta scale inlay here and on the back and everything else is titanium in there. It's got a nice milled pocket clip, nice and slim. This is more of a gentleman's carry or, uh, you know, I mean, this thing will still go to work. It's M4, yep. you know what I'm it's saying? It's gonna hold an edge for days. Yep, absolutely love it guys, <laughs> runs on bearings. This thing is smooth and elegant. One thing I absolutely love about it is they got the jimping right. Mm -hmm. It is very low profile uh, front flip tab. It's a top flip, but <laughs> it's it is just subtle enough. But you get like you can't you can't miss that. I like the look. You can't miss that. No, and I like the look on this little thing. It's it's kind of the 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 modern traditional. Yeah. You know that trapper, and it's in you know with the, with the frame lock. Plus, it's just quality, man, and it's light. That's another light one too. Heck yeah. I and like the looks of it. Enrique just knocks it out of the park. Yeah. Such a cool guy. If you guys uh, ever have a chance, check out some of our other videos from Blade Show last year. Enrique is just, he's such a good, humble guy. I can't wait to meet him. Dang, does he make good knives. I can't so, wait to meet him. I really can. Absolutely can't. love it. All right, I've got the mini bag glider from Kaiser. I love the scales. Yeah, it's That cool. little pineapple-y texture from the, like, Reminds me like the hand grenade stuff. Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, $55 on the website. The overall length is just a hair over um, six and a half inches. Uh, the blade is 2.8 inches long. Bowler N690, <clears throat> excuse me, with that worn cliff, little blade up front. Um, uh, it comes in the handle lengths at three and three quarter inches. This G10 yellow, and then it's got this deep carry pocket clip um, with your stainless liners, and it is a liner lock. Anyway, this one here comes in 55 bucks on the website. Yeah. Cool, That's fun one. Got. It's a fun, fun one. one. Well, we got some cool knives on the table. Make sure you guys jump down in the description to the links. They will take you over to the website and you guys can check these knives out along with any other knives we have on Blade HQ. That's all we have. Yeah, that's so it. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys like this video and you want to check out more, check out our playlist over here. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that alarm bell, and we will catch you on the next one.